Oliver Thompson. And I'm Dylan Alves. And here is your October 2nd daily announcements. PSAT signups are now available in the activities office. Cost is $16 and the deadline to sign up is October 8th. You may sign up before school, during lunch, or after school only. PSATs will be held in the gym on Wednesday, October 15th. For the month of October, Sherlock Unified School District will be going pink on Mondays. Let's support Sherlock Fire's efforts to go pink in October. Shirts are $15 and come in men and women's sizes. And if you are interested in getting a shirt, see Jamie in the counseling office. Last day to order is Thursday. Pittman High School's counseling department invites parents and students to a college informational night fair to learn more about post-secondary options. Please join us in the gym on Thursday, October 9th at 6 p.m. Game club meeting. There will be a mandatory game club meeting this Thursday during lunch in room B1 B121. We will be discussing purchases, field trips, and playing games, including um, Pathfinder. The first Relay for Life meeting is Thursday in room B206 at lunch. Bring your lunch and make sure you're there at the beginning of lunch. See you Thursday. Art club meeting Thursday, October 2nd at lunch in room E128. Meet today at lunch here in the amphitheater for Picnic on the Green. Also, the homecoming nominees will be in the dunk tank, so be prepared. Homecoming voting. Do not forget to cast your vote for homecoming king and queen at lunch. FHA Hero Meeting today in H107 at lunch. Please bring your t-shirt ideas and be ready to share them. <laughs> and all Pittman students, if you are interested in a Costa Rica trip in June of 2015, we will be having a meeting in B10 B202 tonight at 5 p.m. There will be a screening test for the CTE ROP cosmetology program on Wednesday, October 15th, 2014 at Adrian's Beauty College. Please see your counselor for an application packet and instructions. Only juniors and seniors may apply. Board games are back in B121. Game Club will be hosting a different board game after school every Thursday in October and into November. These aren't your parents' board games, no. Monopoly or Candyland here, or, and no experience is needed. Mr. Haschel will teach all the rules and everyone is welcome, even non-members. This week's game is, a, is Dominion, a card game where you build a custom kingdom to help you become the most wealthy and powerful noble in your kingdom. All the cards are provided. Just bring yourself to B121. Ready? Our club is hosting a lunchtime event on Monday to raise awareness and battle bullying. The event Take a stand and lend a hand to stomp out bullying. It's designed to focus it and celebrate uniqueness and inclusion of all students here at PHS. At lunch there will be a stomping arena to pop balloons with negative words or reveal the positive that can be found within us. There will be banners for you to leave a handprint with your name to show your support to end bullying. Seniors, it is time to start thinking about college applications. The UC filing period is just around the corner. If you would like to help with your application to any campus, we invite you to sign up for the UC application workshop, which will be held October 9th during the second period in the library. Space is limited and signups will close tomorrow. Sign up in the counseling office. I'm here with Mark Jimenez from FFA. He's gonna explain how his conference went, uh, the Green Hand Conference. Uh, the Green Hand Conference w went well. We learned about all different uh, things we can do in the FFA. And what do you guys like do there? Like for the most part, like we went in our groups and we met new people. New people. And uh, from where? Like, is it just this school or is it like a whole bunch of different schools? All different schools. What was like the farthest school that you've seen from over there? I don't even know. You don't even know? Just a whole bunch of people? And like, uh, you talk like, uh, you met people and uh, that's all you did was just meet people or what else did you do? We did like games. Games? Yeah. Dancing and stuff? Yeah. Did you dance? No. No? You just saw people dancing? Alright, that's a wrap. I'm here with Jesse, Mary, and Mackenzie from the FFA Club. And they're going to explain how the uh, Green Hand Conference went. Um, the Green Hand Conference was quite fun. They did a lot of activities, um, such as like learning about what they did hands-on otherwise. It was really fun that we had to experience new things and meet a lot of new people from different schools. And it was very loud. I did lose my voice. There are a lot of new people. 
pretty fun for your first conference. What do you guys like do there besides like I saw a video you guys dance and stuff, but other than that like what do you guys do? Like meet new people, just talk? Uh, meet new people, learn about more FFA wise, and it just it's pretty fun. They have like teams you go against and stuff. Teams from uh, other schools like Pittman, what a uh, other school like Turlock? Yeah, um, Turlock, um, Gustine, a whole bunch of different schools. Sonora. Sonora. Not Sonora. What's the farthest school that was from here? Um, probably um, Grattan or something like that. Grattan, I have no clue where that is. <laughs> uh, Delida. Do you guys dance? Yeah, thing. Yeah, I didn't. No. Dan no. <laughs> I didn't. No they didn't. No fun. Dance. Dance no right fun. Now. Yeah, do no fun. Dance. Let's do a dance. I'll do a dance with you guys. <laughs> Now, your Pittman Sports interviews with C Dub Kyle Williams. Today's guest, Beth Somerville from Golf. Welcome, Welcome to the CW show, and we're here with Beth Somerville. And I'm Kyle Williams. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to ask you some questions. Uh, when do you start playing golf? Um, the fifth grade. The fifth grade? How was it? Um, it was fun. At first I didn't like it, and then my dad took me out and played golf, and then I started to like it. Your dad made you play golf? Yeah, he bought me clubs and said that I was going to play golf. And at first I was, like, really mad, but then I started liking it. It was fun. That's cool. Where do, the, where do you guys play at, like, where? where is um, our home course is Stevenson, so we play there a lot. Where is that? It's in Turlock? Uh, no, it's in Stevenson. It's, like, past Hillmar. Oh, I don't know what uh, What's your most expensive club you ever bought? Um, my driver, and that's three hundred dollars. Uh, okay. What? What? What's a birdie? Um, a birdie is when you get in the hole one less than you're supposed to. So if it's a par four, you get it in three. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> are you good? Um, I'm average. I don't know. Sure. All right, who your favorite player in golf league? Whatever. Um, probably Ricky Fowler. Why? Wow, she got like nice technique. Um, yeah, and he's really cool, and I don't know, he's a cool person too, and he's good at golf. Oh, you like Tiger Woods? Um, he's okay. I don't know. That's my favorite player <laughs> of golf. Uh, what's the difference between regular golf and miniature golf? Uh, miniature golf is just putting, and regular golf you have other clubs that you have to hit, and it's longer distance. Right. What's the best? What's the best hole you ever shot? Um, I've gotten a couple birdies on par threes before. Oh, the best. I challenge Beth to a game of horse. Two for two. Yeah. Get up! That's it, bro. 